to Secretary of State Mike Pompeo saying the administration will crush Iran through sanctions and economic pressure. Mr. Pompeo listing 12 demands for Iran, calling out the, quote, fatal flaws in the Obama deal, saying it failed to ensure American safety. Market analysts, again, overreacting, warning that oil was spiked to the $100 range. But here are the facts. When the sanctions were still in place against Iran, oil dropped from the $100 range to $26 a barrel by January 2016. The U.S. is now pumping five times what Iran exports. And Saudi Arabia can easily step in and handle Iran's 2 million barrels or so that it does sell. And Iran sells its oil to China so far unaffected by U.S. sanctions, so that could boot, basically give a floor under oil prices. We'll see. Joining me now, or a cap to it, retired Marine Gunnery Sergeant in London Center for Policy Research. Look who's here, Jesse Jane Duff. Hi, Good Liz. to see you, Jesse. Good to see you, Liz. So the media was quick to condemn Trump for backing out of the Iran deal. I'd like your reaction to this montage. Let's listen. America's allies had urged the president not to do this. They are reacting tonight, and so is Iran already with a new threat. They are dismayed and bewildered right now, saying that America's arrogant and can't be trusted. Candidate Trump promised to pull out of it. Today, President Trump did, with widespread implications. The U.S. is essentially reneging on the nuclear deal with Iran. Across Europe, there's a chill tonight that the U.S. under President Trump may not be a reliable partner anymore. They have basically said to the rest of the world, we are not obeying an agreement that we signed and that the United States of America under one administration can sign deals, but it will not be trusted mm. by subsequent presidents. Your reaction? I am not surprised. They supported President Obama's negotiations for this quote unquote deal that the U.S people never benefited from, let alone the reason that our European allies are upset is because they had invested interests. Germany had $4 billion in trade going with this deal, so to speak. The United States was subsequently at risk. Iran may make a decision all to continue squandering their resources throughout the world and impacting their people at home or get on board and support what the United States is trying to have, which is peace throughout the region. We have right now Hezbollah influence all throughout North Africa, the Middle East, and throughout the world, which is destroying and killing lives every single day. You know, to your point, the Secretary of State calling out the critics of President Trump, saying Obama's White House gave Iran billions of dollars, but to your point, accelerated Iran's negative actions in Syria, Lebanon, and more. Your reaction to that? It's 100% accurate. Look what's going on in Syria right now. Bashar al-Assad has been supported by the Iranians along with the Russians. The Iranians have been embedded in there trying to sustain their Shia influence. That is a result of the billions of dollars that have gone into Iran. We know that pallets of cash okay. showed up. And that is why the Iranian people should be extremely upset. The Iran Revolutionary Guard has squandered this wealth along with the mullahs. Okay, they suppress their own people. They uh, execute gay people, they execute children, they execute teenagers in Iran. Uh, Mike Pompeo outlining a list of demands of Iran, or they're going to face crippling financial pressure. Let's listen to what he said. The sting of sanctions will be painful if the regime does not change its course from the unacceptable and unproductive path that is chosen to one that rejoins the League of Nations. These will indeed end up being the strongest sanctions in history when we are complete. You know, Jesse, you just made, you made a very important point before. After the Cold War, Germany dialed back on its defense spending to the point where their soldiers are training literally with traffic helicopters. They, in Germany, they think military spending is a fetish. But, the, but to your point, Europe has enjoyed the military might of the U.S. so they could build a rickety welfare state and then do trade deals with Iran. Talk about that for a second. Well, when you're profiting off of the world's largest terrorist, state-sponsored terrorist organization, the European allies that we have should be ashamed of themselves because we have also found that German parts were found in some of the chemical bombs that were dropped in Syria by the Iranian bombs. When we're looking at them sustaining this type of economy that suppresses people throughout the world, Germany of all 
of all nations should be ashamed knowing what their own history has on obliter obliterating people such as what we saw after World War II. They have a moral responsibility to step up more than anyone when it comes to the case of causing yeah. civil rights and the rights of human beings to be decimated. You know, but to, and to your point, I mean, and Dan Henninger at the Wall Street Journal made this point, back in 2012, Europe had a zero, a zero growth rate. It wasn't growing. And so they, they went in like a cannon shot into <laughs> Iran to do trade deals because they've got that gigantic welfare state that's so huge, their bonds traded and collapsed into negative territory. Go ahead, Jesse. Well, this is exactly why we are ashamed of looking at our European partners who are gloating with the money that they have sucked in out of Iran. What we know at the end of the day is that Iran is going to kill again and again and again. Let's go back to 1983 when the Marine barracks were bombed in 1983 by Iranian-backed Hezbollah. Hundreds of peacekeeping forces were killed, murdered. It was the largest death toll for the United States Marine Corps since World War II on Iwo Jima. That's says something. And what has happened since then? What, where have they been held accountable? That promise was not a promise to benefit the American people. It was a promise to benefit the mullahs. And the Ayatollah Khomeini should never have a regime such as he has where human rights are ignored. And along with that, the American people have to fund this. Not appropriate. Jesse Jane Duff, thank you so much for coming on. We want to have you back again soon. Really great stuff. And thank you for your service to our country. Really thank appreciate you, you. Thanks again.